In early 2007, the U.S. was blissfully unaware of the brewing crisis. Getting a loan couldn't have been easier, and the banks were approving mortgages as if there were no tomorrow. It was all so easy, in fact, that even people who weren't credit worthy were taking out loans and spending away. By February 2007, homeowners were starting to default on their mortgages and the problem was spiraling out of control. 427,000, another big, give me 430,000. sales became commonplace. April 2007, banks continued courting customers. What the American Express ad doesn't say is that the first casualty had already been claimed. New Century Financial, which specialized in subprime mortgages, had filed for bankruptcy. June 2007. The crisis reached Germany when the IKB Deutsche Industriebank in Dusseldorf admitted losing millions in the U.S. At the same time, the U.S. Department of Commerce announced a 6.6 percent decline in new home sales. Stock prices began falling. A domino effect seemed inevitable. August 2007. The IKB fired its CEO and was saved from bankruptcy by its parent bank, the KFW, which provided IKB with a credit line of 8 billion euros. The next bank to be bailed out was Sachsen LB, which was sold to Landesbank Baden-Württemberg. The European Central Bank pledged a 95 billion euro aid package to banks and lenders across the 13 eurozone countries in order to redress the credit shortage. Autumn 2007, the crisis was showing no signs of abating. Switzerland's UBS had lost $10 billion in the subprime crisis. U.S. Bank Citigroup lost $11 billion. Investment bank Merrill Lynch lost $8 billion. The forecasts from New York were bleak. Experts predicted that the crisis would continue well into 2009. In March 2008, Wall Street's fifth largest bank, Bear Stearns, became the investment world's first high-profile subprime casualty when it lost $200 billion. Lehman Brothers was believed to be in similar dire straits, but managed to keep its head above water. Back in Germany, KFW CEO Ingrid Matthias Meyer resigned amid criticism of her handling of the financial problems besetting IKB. The same month, Bayern LB wrote off over 4 billion euros, while Deutsche Bank also posted losses. But others were optimistic. I believe that we are at the beginning of the end of this crisis. Mid-September 2008, Lehman Brothers goes into bankruptcy. What will happen to its 28,000 employees? For the time being, no one knows. <laughs>